I'm be bleeding it. After argument between Amy and Michael, I volunteered my place to Amy and the babies till Amy decides what she wants to do. Every time I think about it, I cry. That's pretty much what I did last night, cry. Just hold gaze in my arms and just cry. That's kind of a traumatic experience. Right now, I'm feeling all different kinds of shit. I just don't know how to process it. Am I just up a happy home? Like, is it all my fault? I mean, like, being lost and overwhelmed lately, I don't know if it's because of Michael. It was. He's trying to brainwash you into believing that's not true. If he told you the sky was yellow, he you had to believe him. I do got so busy. Shit. <laughs> Can I be honest? I really don't see him changing. And I hate that for you. I gotta do something. These boys deserve you, better. You deserve better. I guess I was trying to hold on so tight because we didn't have a dad. It's too hard. I know this hurts. Believe me. My heart is crushed for you. And these babies. I don't think I'm strong enough to do them. You're not doing this on your own. Bitch, wait a am I? I'm right here by your side. I feel like an astronaut. <laughs> Am I an ass or not? Bitch, you look like an ass. <laughs> Bitch. Ready? One, One two, three. I've always wanted to do that. Goodbye, demon. Ah! He'll have no fury. Like Amy Scorn. Or like Amy Burger. Hit the computer. <laughs> you, Michael. <laughs> you. Play your damn video games. Damn, you got a lot of anger. Ow! You hit me. I'm sorry. I'm not necessarily afraid of Amy. More like being collateral damage. I'm priceless. You can't break me. Can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah. Wanna hear the crowd? That was the whole point of doing this. <laughs> For a long time, I didn't think anything of that was possible. I didn't think I was going to get married. I didn't think I was going to have kids. But that's something I wanted. I'm the one that went through late loss surgery to have my babies. I'm the one that made my family a family. I'm the one that fought tooth and nail for my babies. And now everything's falling apart. And I don't know where it all went wrong. I don't know if I'm doing enough. Debbie, you're really. doing everything you can. Exactly, but I don't feel like it's enough because you're still hurting and I hate to see you hurt. It ain't your fault, Debbie. No, but I'm big sister. I'm supposed to be able to put, you know, a Band-Aid over the pain. I feel like everything has gotten worse in the family since I left. And now it's gotten even worse now that I'm back. I just feel really useless. 
and I don't know what to do to fix it. I mean, you help me with the boys. You help me with my, make sure I'm eating and drinking and stuff. Bitch, look at me. You're gonna be okay. We are gonna be okay. More importantly, the boys are gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. You're doing the right thing. <laughs> I'm cleaning my daughter. Okay, tomorrow. All right, Pumbaa. <laughs> you ready to up? Yeah. I feel a lot better now that I feel like some of my built-up anger has gone away. How do you feel? It helped me helping you. I personally think now you're more than ready to see the lawyer and face the court and face Michael. I think so, too. Well, I just don't know what to think right now. Like, I'm, I, I, it just happened, so I'm not fully processed it yet. I went from crying to mad to angry uh, to sad again. I've been all over the place. All of those feelings is natural. How do you feel seeing that ass for the first time? I didn't look at him, to be what? honest with you. I didn't acknowledge his presence at all. Well, if that's what you need to do, then you did it right. Since the judge is trying to determine who gets custody, we both had to testify on what we do for the boys. Michael got on that stand saying he was an equal parent, trying to get 50-50 custody. He was like, I give them baths, I do this, I do that. My mouth drops. I turn around, look at the back row where my family's sitting, and all their faces are like, I raised those kids. I made the bath waters. You don't know how your son likes his bath water. Don't play with me. Gage likes it hot like you, and Glenn don't. He can't tell you that. He don't know what kind of ratio you put into bath water to make it extra bubbly. He don't know that I Amy, mean, we one. all know. Everybody knows. I cannot believe he's asking for 50-50 custody. There should be no reason why he needs extra days with the kids when he's not even gonna take care of them. Right. You know, it's not you gonna be having the kids, it's gonna be your mother. Michael wants 50-50 custody, but I'm thinking more like 70-30. I was the chef, I was the cook, I was the nanny. I was everything in that house. He was the video game player. Honestly, everything that man opened his mouth and said. It was a chock about full of, I wouldn't say lying of, through his teeth, but he ain't got none, so there's that. <laughs> <laughs> Toothless and bald in Kentucky. I can see a dating profile now. <laughs> Glenn's got two. He got more teeth than his daddy does. <laughs> I woke up with a massive tummy ache, and I can't, I can't seem to shake it. I've tried pooping. I've tried everything this morning. When's the last time you used the bathroom? Two weeks ago. What? No, that's what the problem is. She's back there. I mean, that can really make you sick, for real. You definitely, sh or, or do you take your vitamins the way you're supposed to? No, she don't even take her medicine. She don't even wear a thing at night. Well, first of all, that's why you're so tired all the time. Ever since the divorce with Amy and Michael, Amy's not properly taking care of herself, definitely not eating right. And then she has sleep apnea and she needs to use the CPAP. If she continues losing weight, Eventually, she could get removed off of it, but she's not taking care of herself, so she needs to use it. With sleep apnea, if you do not wear your machine at night, you will be tired all the time because you lose oxygen while you sleep. Your body can't rest. Your body can't rest because it's constantly fighting to make sure you breathe. You gotta take care of yourself, Amy, before you can take care of them babies. For her to go two weeks without using the bathroom, two hours and I'm dead. I'm about to die. When she takes her vitamins properly, she'll probably have a decent bowel movement on a regular. It ain't so bad I'm not used to. Where y'all get I get stopped up. If you're not using the bathroom on a regular, that is extremely dangerous. 
That means that all that stuff is sitting in there and that's toxic. We know Amy's full of shit from the top of her head to the bottom of her feet. For real now. <laughs> I'm not a fight on top of acid reef. Nobody's point. There's no shots being fired here. I'm going home. Where are you going? Home. I don't feel good. It's always something. How's she gonna get home when you're the one driving? I don't know. Look, I'm, I'm gonna be serious with y'all. I don't know what the her problem is, but like her attitude and everything is just stank. It's just stank. Amy's saying that she wasn't feeling good, and I get that. But we're trying to help you, and you want the help, so you say, but then you just get up and stomp out of the room. And I mean, she, she's gotta get a hold of herself. I'm to that point. I'm tired of her snapping off at me and being hateful and rude to me. She's caught herself doing that many a times, and I have had it. Take that bag out of her way, Justin. Put it down. And then me. Here, let me see. I'm definitely excited to go out to this restaurant tonight. Everybody's put on their Sunday best, and um, I'm looking forward to it. But Gage is throwing a fit, and next thing I know, I look over, Amy's crying too. Amy, that's not gonna help nothing. No, I just need a minute. Amy. That's it. That's it. I have no idea what headspace Amy is in right now, but she's definitely got to get her together. Oh, no. You really need to quit balling, because you're not a ball bag, so wake up. Dude, I'm trying ball. to do as much as I can. You stop yelling at me like you've lost your mind. Y'all promised you to help me with the kids, and y'all haven't. But you stop talking to me like you've lost your mind. It's the last night of the vacation, and after dinner, I was trying to help Amy because she couldn't get Glenn to go to sleep and calm down. So I was just telling Amy, okay, go through the handbook. Have you fed him? Have you changed his diaper? Is he cold? But she didn't like being told what to do. And that, that's just where it spiraled out of control. Come here, Glenn, let's go bye-bye. You're not going to damn place with those boys. You're not my goddamn boss. You think you're everybody's goddamn boss, Amanda, but you're not. You are not making my son drive you anywhere. I'm not making your son do a damn thing. Amy. Get the out of my face, man. Get your hands off of me. Man, get the off of me. Stop playing with me. Get off of me. I need you. She put her hands on me. I'm so sick of you trying to be the big bitch. I'm so tired of you. Got me bleeding. I can't believe this bitch just shoved me. I can't believe she did that. I'm like, what the hell is going on over here? I really don't know what happened. Because you blocked out. And we understand and that. Now you know what happened. Piece it all back together. And you don't have to do it right now. I'm wanting to build in a day, and Amy's not going to get fixed in a day. Just like weight loss wasn't going to happen overnight, surgery wasn't going to happen overnight, nothing happens overnight. It's a slow process, but I'm going to do my best to move forward. But I still can't lay it to rest until I actually physically apologize to Amanda. I need for her to forgive me. We're I'm here sorry, for Tammy. I'm I know, and you're doing fine. You don't have to apologize. You're a good mom, and you can do this. But you have to learn to deal with your emotions when you get. I'm our, working on it. I'm I know that. Therapy. I know. It was um, the scariest thing I've ever done. I've never hit one of y'all. 
Not first. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> of course I'm going to defend myself, but I'm never going to. I mean, when first. we were kids, I mean, kids, kid is kid, but as far as adults know. But I'm over it. You over it? Are I you over never. it? But hold on, I do got one question. Bitch, don't you know how to throw hands? You, you damn, you tried to bite me <laughs> like you was Gage. <laughs> Bitch, come after me like. <laughs> Didn't you learn how to throw hands? <laughs> no, because I don't fight. I cry. She's like, I'm a piranha. Damn. <laughs> it's definitely nice to look back and, and, and you know, let's laugh at it. Like, bitch, you tried to bite me. Like, you can't throw hands. You know, we got to take little gigs. You got to make light of moments that are serious because sometimes that's all you got. For the past few weeks, well, I've been trying to, like, do new things to take care of me and my boys. Can you do it? Whoa! I'm establishing boundaries with the boys. Good job, good fight. Putting them on the schedule. I love you. Yeah, do you want to read it with mommy? No, he just want to eat the kale. Glenn's got teeth now, he's walking. You do it. I'm getting Gage ready for preschool. He's growing up. Which one's A? A! Good job. I want to be out with the old Amy and then with the new Amy, you know. Improve my health, improve my mental health as well. Just getting the excess weight off. With everything that's going on, I got detoured from the path. So I need to get on the ball.